Well, the White House physician has given Joe Biden the all clear. Dr Kevin O'Connor, along with the White House, has released the president's physical examination results. Every president needs to sit these exams to prove they are physically fit to run the country. Everything from optometry, dentistry, orthopaedics, dermatology, neurology and more are tested. Dr O'Connor outlined the president experiences a few things such as occasional reflux, seasonal allergies and spinal arthritis. He concluded that President Biden remains a healthy, vigorous 80-year-old male who is fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidencies to include those as chief executive, head of state and commander in chief. And while that is great news, the president is physically fit to lead, he still faces mounting calls to sit a cognitive exam. That exam, which Joe Biden hasn't sat yet, would thoroughly examine his mental fitness and whether his cognitive abilities have been impaired. The reason why Biden has faced gruelling calls for this is because not only is he the oldest sitting president in history, but he also has a track record of public gaffes. He has stumbled and bumbled on words, forgotten his own administration's policies, looked confused as to where he's meant to go next, and even scanned the room looking for a recently deceased congresswoman. In 2018, then-President Donald Trump gave into public condemnation by taking a cognitive test to prove that he could run the country. He passed the test, and his physician, Ronnie Jackson, fronted the media to take question after question about Trump's mental capabilities. Ronnie Jackson has become a central figure in calls for Joe Biden to also take the same test. He was the personal doctor to three presidents, George W. Bush, Barack Obama and Donald Trump. He is now, however, a Republican congressman in Texas. In July last year, over 50 assembly makers signed a letter Mr. Jackson wrote to Dr. Kevin O'Connor and Joe Biden, expressing concern with the president's cognitive state and urging him to submit a test immediately. He tweeted today in response to the president's physical exam, saying it was a joke. Remember when the media went ballistic, wanting Trump to have a cognitive exam? Where are they today with Biden? It's silence. We learned nothing from Biden's physical exam. How bad is his cognitive issue? Is he on any drugs to treat his mental decline? This exam was a joke, cover up. Why on earth did Biden not get a cognitive exam? Trump had one, why not him? Biden's ability to think and reason is gone. He should not be president. The media is silent about the lack of a cognitive exam for Biden. The American people want to know this information and the media is doing nothing. They're letting this incompetent buffoon drive our country over a cliff. Ronnie Jackson was on Fox News late last week saying there is something wrong with Joe Biden. Or maybe they let this cognitive stuff take off because it's all there. It's been there for a long time. And, and all they have to do is start getting this man out and letting him speak publicly more often, putting him in front of, in front of the camera for press conferences. Mm -hmm. We can see what happens. He's literally got something wrong with him. Everyone in the country knows it right now. The unfortunate part is our adversaries know it right now, too. Any president's ever needed a cognitive exam, it's this man. <laughs> but we'll see.